guys, this is Kaz. I'm going to nitpick uh, Mr. Twisted Helix's Japanese, but I'm going to invite my cousin Akira. Hey, Akira. Hello, cousin. Uh, it's so ridiculous. It rained so much in Hiroshima. How are you? Okay, I'm going to help you nitpick Heri Twisted Helix's uh, Japanese. Let's listen. Yeah, let's do. Let's listen to his Japanese right now, okay? These people not speak English. I think he's taking a minimalist approach. As long as you keep five vowels crystal clear, it is okay to speak completely with your own accent. This is because even Japanese people are different depending on where you live. Like if you live in Osaka, if you live in Hiroshima, people really use different pitch patterns. So, of course, it's okay to have a gaikokujin no nihongo ga atemo idas. Just one vowel I heard. He said, kataroto. I think. Let's listen to this one more time just to be sure. Kono wadai. Kataro sounds like you, you could have said Kataro instead of Kataro. I do hear, um, especially American people say, or maybe even British people say, instead of saying Kawaii, they would say Kawaii, which sounds a little bit like scary, Kawaii. So that's the only vowel you got to be careful with, like Kataro. Instead of Kataro, you say Kataro. Kawaii, it's like cute. You don't say Kawaii. That's the only sound that I think you should be careful about with, and um, you'll be okay. Okay, it is my turn to listen to Mr. Helix, Tristet Helix Sans Nihongo. I like his Japanese. Mm. You know, not just his way of speaking, but he has a very, very friendly atmosphere. When Japanese people listen to him, we feel like we want to become his friend. And I'll show you why. I think it is his use of eye contact. Uh, he goes, he's talking through his eyes like this. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, Elande, Mimasade. Bilingual chica, you connect and. Like this. Uh, when we speak Japanese, like we cherish the idea of eyes talking, eyes talking. But sometimes American uh, guys or Western guys, I should say, he's British, but uh, I, uh, in America, especially, guys, they speak with dead eyes. Let's take a look. All right, it's my turn. This is Kaz. So this is Matt versus Japan, and his Japanese is excellent. But let's look at his use of eyes, his eyes. <laughs> So in Japan, we call these kind of, um, how do you say, very stable eye use, shindame, dead eyes. Okay, let's take a look at somebody else. Let's take a look at the Dogen san, his Japanese is excellent too. 2011年11月4日岡山大学にて he speaks excellent Japanese, but his eyes, just like because he's a Western guy, he speaks with Z eye. This is Mr. Katsumoto, the founder of Age at Approach. Look at his eyes. His eyes are kind of constantly dead. <laughs> I want to let you listen to David and let you guys watch David's eye use. He's actually doing pretty good with this thing. His eyes are kind of like talking. Maybe you have to kind of move your heads like this too. Uh, and that's how I guess Japanese people feel like. Uh, you know, um, oh, this guy is something about that I can relate to, or somebody I can be a friend with. So, in conclusion, Mr. Twisted Helix, uh, he uses minimalist approach, and that's a realistic choice uh, because pitch pattern, 
Speech patterns in Japanese are different by region, so it's okay to speak with your own version of accent, and that's fine, completely fine. Also, he has rich facial expressions, which Japanese people like. Especially Western guys tend to speak with dead eyes, so you just, you know, use more of a、uh, animated eye expressions, maybe.、Um, I think that's all for today. His、uh, grammar is great and his vocabulary is huge. So, thank you, Mr. Twisted Helps.